Father, I give you praise. Verse 13, Apostle. For I speak to you Gentiles. Now listen to this. Inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. Now watch these words that stood out. The other night when the Lord said you will speak this to him. I magnify mine office. Paul said, I magnify my office. Whew. You can't magnify it unless you've been with him. Many are called. Uh-oh. But only a few are chosen. And in our culture, we want to make everybody a preacher. Dangerous. 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 Come on. We are apostles. We are prophets. We are evangelists and pastors and teachers, if he calls you that, after the second order. After he defeated the devil, the Bible said he led captives captivity and gave gifts unto men. And gave some apostles. Some Oh, oh, come on now. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Come on here now. So, so you better understand that if he gave you a gift, how are you treating a gift? Amen. A gift going to struggle. A gift won't make you happy. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but gifts make folks happy. Gifts don't make folks sad. I magnify my office. Come on now. Talking to them, as I said today, gifted folks. Gifted folks is hard to work with. Amen. Paul came into the form of the gifted church, and then folks had the gifts, but they had no lifestyle. Come on now. They had no life for God. Oh, they even had to be washed by come the on. blood of Jesus. Every time you go out to witness, you're confronting demon powers. Yeah. Every time you go out to tell someone about Jesus, demons try to follow you back home, and you wonder why you got a bad attitude and you cussing. Come on, come on. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Or you just can't get it together. Or the Lord showed me some of you ain't read your Bibles, hallelujah, all week long. But you want to come to church and clap your hands and even sing in the choir, hallelujah. Then you get mad because the Holy Ghost moves upon the apostle and he preaches the hell up out of you. Glory to God. Can't go to no new messages until you get delivered of their stuff, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You learn how to work with the word of God. The word work with you. You work with the word until the thing lives. Come on. They come and burn it down. But after you get through, come on. If it takes you six hours, come on. Someone's leaving out here lifted up. You learn how to press in the battle. You learn how to wrestle with these forces. Glory to God. I just left a choir thing and, and, and left these preachers praying for someone. Because when I laid hands on them and felt that demon, that demon started grunting. I said, grunt on with your bad self. I'm gone. You don't want to let him out? I ain't going to try to pull him out. Right. Do I look like I'm a distractor? <laughs> we have to learn these things. We used to wrestle with this thing and all night long. And then the cuss of woman walking down Main Street the next day. Cigarette, beer, everything in the hand. Act like, come on. You yes. something when you was out with that no good rascal man or boyfriend that their mama said leave alone. You never complained you was tired. My my problem I see is that the church needs to fall back in love. Because when you're in love, you don't complain about being with the one you in love with. You used to open the door for her, now she gotta open it by herself. She gotta drag the baby and you sitting up there drinking and eating something and watching him put the baby seat in the car. Uh-oh. Thank God it's not none of y'all. Come on, just wave your hand. Woo! You know the Holy Ghost, he's just talking over somebody's head. Thank God it ain't none of you. The church I was raised up with has power. Power to help somebody. The purpose of this pooping is to pull you up, not put you down. Here to deliver something to you. It's a two-way street. It's called not only giving, but called receiving. That's the problem. It's called giving and receiving. You act like you just give, 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 and can't receive. That's why relations ain't working with some of y'all. You ain't ready. Too selfish and too stingy. I walked in here, went to your office. What did I say? I said, Woo, it's going to be hard to preach a word up in here because this flow is like a river. Now, I can't help. I don't know what kind of glasses you got or eyesight, but. Mine's been anointed, and I start to see, and I, my God, they, don't don't believe what you see, believe what you know. Yeah. 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 Come on.
come on. I asked him, I said, oh, he said, we can remove up out the storefront. I said, oh, my God, hallelujah. I really begin to pray for him. I know God's going to advance him, but until y'all come closer together, I'm asking God to bring you closer together. Because when we had a storefront, my God, we all sat. We weren't all in gaps in the seat. Come on, somebody. We sat in ranks because that's what soldiers do. And we're soldiers. That's the problem with the church. They're raising up babies instead of soldiers. That's the final truth. You know, you come up with some songs when you're by yourself in the desert. <laughs> so I put my Bluetooth in my ear, making it sound like I ain't crazy. Yeah, I know you ain't talking to yourself. Hallelujah. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. glory to God, because he's in my right ear. Thank you, Jesus. The Jesus in you, the Jesus in me. Let's get together and find out what he wants to do. And that was all about? Woo, come on. Come on. But if you can't submit to someone I can't submit, then come on. If you don't recognize Jesus in me, we can't get together. If I don't recognize Jesus in you, we can't get together. But if God calls this man to be the apostle of Las Vegas, all these 